tell us without giving away too much yes. about the film, uh, when we watch it, when we watch Last Known Coordinates, what can we expect? Um, you know, I think that the, the most challenging part about making the docky is that this is a real life docky and every all the footage in it is like 80% of it was shot by myself while I was on the journey or, or on the other previous journeys like the English Channel record or the Mavericks Big Wave Invitational or like all the other uh, 24-hour record, 12-hour records and stuff that I did. So a lot of that was filmed by me and then a lot of the the interviews and stuff were done obviously afterwards and then all put together but everything is real and I think that's why you know there's some parts that I would have loved to add it in with the the giant squid in the middle of the storm in the night but we don't have any of that kind of footage and people forget that there's no film crew that was following me there's no there's no like I wasn't able to film all the time because uh, everything's powered by battery and I only took little snippets. So there's a lot of stuff that I wish was in there that if you're making a Hollywood version, you just recreate it or you just add that stuff in or, f or get a, someone else to, to be the actor for that. But this is like real, authentic, real life footage. So there's a lot of this parts of the stories that, that isn't there because we didn't have the real footage for it. But I think at the end of the day, it's a real true life inspiring story about courage determination and the power of passion perseverance and believing in something with every fiber in your being that you're doing good for the right reasons to be able to lift people up give back and help change the world mm. and that's what the story is about go out and have an adventure you know get through every challenge and 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 difficult time like one stroke at a time one step at a time and you can literally do anything this documentary is what the world really needs right now so thank you <laughs> <Yes>. chris <laughs> I, so, I, sometimes i have to remind myself just to do the same thing as, as i you know that i talk to people about because yeah. we're all dealing with the same struggles at yeah. the moment and mm. everybody's just trying to do the best they can and it's it, i think we we the world has never like never been as ready and needing for stories of hope and inspiration. And I think even that's also the reason why the Olympics and uh, Olympians that have done so well with, with Bianca and, and the, the other swimmer. Yeah. I think those like, w we all like gravitate towards really inspiring stories at yep. the moment because we all need hope. We yep. all need encouragement. We all need inspiration. Mm. And I think now so more than ever. So definitely, really nice. I'm really stoked to be a part of that. So thank you for that and all the very best for the uh, the launch. It's just mm. happened. So we can't wait to watch it. Cannot wait to see. This sounds like a great point of view and another feather in the cap for South African documentaries. Chris, thanks. Thanks thank for joining us. Thanks very much, team.